Hello everyone, welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu, I'm a SaaS trainer and programmer. In this video, I'm going to explain SaaS Certified Specialist uh, Practice Question number 11. I covered few videos earlier, I'm attaching it here in a card statement. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and if you have any questions or comments, please write it in the comment section. I'll reply back to you as soon as possible. So let's get started. So in this question number 11, which program display all the list of data sets in SAS help library? Okay, so here four multiple choice options with you with a different different uh, a program or uh, sentence, uh, sorry, uh, different uh, program statements is written like a proc contains a lib equal to SAS help dot all and semicolon and run. That's your answer A. Answer B is written as a proc contents data equal to sas help dot all and semicolon and run. Or so the C answer is talking about proc contents lib equal to sas help dot underscore all underscore semicolon and run. And the D one proc contents data equal to sas help dot underscore all underscore semicolon and run. Actually, which answer is right? We can write the proc contents generally is to display the description portion of the data. But here I want to know the description portion of one data set. Then I can simply say proc contents data equal to your data set name, any name you can write it and semicolon and run. It will give the description portion of that particular data as it is. But uh, I want it. Uh, uh, all the data sets which is there in the SAS helper. Let it be you have around 200 data sets. All the data sets wise, uh, I want to get the properties, how you can handle it. Then which syntax will work. So for that, let me just open my SAS studio. You also do the same with me and try to write and take a pause of this video and open the SAS studio. And there you can write a program saying it as a, the correct answer is the syntax is, Proc, okay, I'm just writing it here. Proc contents, it's already there. I'm just selecting that. Data equal to the correct syntax will be says help library. I'm just taking it dot. Okay, if I want it one data set, I can directly select which data set I want it. Okay, let's say if I want to have uh, properties of class data set, uh, then I can select my class data set, semicolon and run, I'll do that. So if I run this particular piece of code, it will give the properties of that particular data set wise, how many observations we have, how many variables we have, when this particular data set is created, where it is created and all the things you will get it. Okay, that's uh, all the description portion of the data, you will get it. But here I want to know uh, all the data sets which is there in the SAS help. In this case, instead of writing and uh, class data set, you try to write it underscore all underscore is the syntax, is the correct syntax generally. If you try to execute it, run the program, it will take some time based on your uh, performance of your system and you will get the output display anyway. I'm just giving it here because it is just asking because the I limited myself the output to be displayed and check your log. So here there is no error in this particular syntax. It will be displayed all the results what you have generated. But the problem is here you can see that in the SAS help library all the data set oh, which is there. Um, the result is uh, it is too big to display it actually that's the reason why it is not displaying it because if you see in my uh, SAS preferences here actually it is just uh, keep on going it uh, it's get stuck because uh, the result is in in progress uh, the current syntax uh, will be according to this particular question uh, will be um, you see here the d answer is the right answer proc contents data equal to sas help dot underscore all underscore and run so this is the correct uh, correct answer as a d okay check that what answer is already there in the powerpoint presentation it's a d that's the right answer right that's it that's all about for this particular 
question number 11 if you have any questions or comments so please write it in the a comment section below in the video and be subscribed to my channel for upcoming updates thank you